Why, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel of Matthew Kronberger, uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. Anyway, this week's this week I am covering a story of the grass fire that started in Burley County, North Dakota. This grass fire started at the top of University of Mary Hill. Anyway, I put together a little documentary story about the fire that I edited all myself here. So uh, this video is about seven minutes long. So enjoy the video and I'll be back at the end. So enjoy. Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Matthew Kronberger. Today I'm covering a story for for uh, everyone, all my uh, friends and family on Facebook and as well as uh, YouTube. Today I'm going to be uh, covering the fire south and south of Burley, North Dakota, uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, on Monday afternoon, a f uh, camp uh, campfire got a little out of control and ended up scorching several acres of land of people's property south of University of Mary. So. Uh, pretty much you can if you look around here you can see everything that was burned this is my uncle Dale's property that was it's pretty much there's nothing left but the outhouse is still intact but anyway here's what's left of what's smoldering here of the fire about a minute or so ago there was a uh, I did see a little bit of a flame but it looks like that's slowly dying dying out but I mean all, everything the trees the grass everything down here is completely black and of course the can also smell that the smoke too and then also the University of Mary uh, the hill is right beside me here to my right or it'd be to, to the left but you can see here to the to the hill where it's just all scorched um, from the fire um, University of Mary is way up there you probably can barely see it but I plan to go up there and get some shots as well well here you can see what I recorded of the aftermath of the fire here below University of Mary. Now this is this video shot right here folks is right below the University of Mary Hill. Here you can see what was burned on both sides of Apple Creek River and you can see the aftermath here of what of what happened. The last that I w was told that over uh, 1500 acres was burned here in the fire. Also, unfortunately, a animal lost its life, found uh, some bone fragments here. Not quite sure what uh, exactly the, this animal was, maybe a deer or something. But uh, yeah, evidently this animal was uh, pretty much uh, gone in the fire. Also, here's the video at the top of University of Mary. I also had a chance to visit with a University of Mary student, and here's what he had to say. Uh, there's a lot of clouds, man. Like, there was just dark, yellowish, thick clouds billing up over the school. And we knew something was going on, but we didn't know quite what. And then they started uh, bringing stuff up to fight it and whatnot, and it's prairie fire, I guess. Students at the University of Mary were told to evacuate when the fire was getting too close to the building. So the students evacuated. Some of them left with cars. Some of them left on on school buses for their own safety. I'm on the football team, so we were practicing up north at Shiloh, and after practice we got word that um, they were evacuating the campus, and we couldn't come back up here, so we went over to my buddy's girlfriend's house, chilled for a little bit. Then we were able to come up here, though, and we were able to uh, get some stuff for the night, and then the expressway in was nice enough to uh, offer free hotel rooms for the students, which was nice. University of Mary students were not the only school that had to evacuate. Uh, Prayer Rose Elementary School students also had to evacuate because of the fire and heavy smoke it was getting too close to the school. So students were evacuated to another elementary school on the north side of town for their own safety. Also, uh, area residents around the Apple Creek area drive uh, were also were told to evacuate Tuesday night after the fire restarted in the early afternoon and got out of control and then later that night um, uh, 
area residents were allowed back into their homes after the fire was finally contained by the rural fire uh, department and the army national guard came to assist with the fire as well although now that the fire is under control cleanup is now on its way and now uh, University of Mary students were, are now back in class as well as Prairie Rose elementary school students as well um, so overall really have the National Guard to thank for all their hard work they did with their black uh, army helicopters dumping uh, several gallons of water on onto the fire to get it under control and also have to thank the rural fire departments that assist that assisted with putting out the fire too. I think it's kind of cool a little bit. I mean, it's it's tragic that it happened. You know, it probably cost a lot of money to fight it and stuff. But I think it's kind of cool. I've never seen anything like it before. And I mean, now it's all changed up the landscape of our school kind of. Like you look over there and it's all black and whatnot. And yeah. Conditions around the Bismarck area and the state of North Dakota are still very extremely dry. There's not much rain planned in the forecast. So with that, the governor of North Dakota, Jack Dalrumpel, has put a burn ban in effect that prohibits anyone from doing any outdoor burning whatsoever. This includes campfires, stove fires, and those types of things. Um, just because fires have broken out all over the whole state of North Dakota, one near uh, Williston, one near Fargo, and other surrounding uh, uh, cities around North Dakota. So, reporting for YouTube and Facebook, I'm Matthew Kronberger. Thanks for watching. Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, video that I made. I edited that all myself, so I hope uh, you all enjoyed it. You, if you did enjoy it, please comment and subscribe to my video couple things that I've done a little differently is I'm working with a USB microphone uh, so you can kind of you kind of tell that the audio is a little different in some parts of the video well that's just on my end so uh, and I'm also working with a Thai microphone now too that you guys see here so to get get some uh, better uh, quality so anyways I um, hope you enjoy my little spring background here as well so thanks thanks for watching my video uh, throughout for Throughout the summer and the rest of the year, I want to start making, going out and shooting uh, videos such as this or uh, any other like events and stuff that are going on in town and start making uh, short like 10 minute documentary films, uh, videos that I edit myself for YouTube and Facebook for my friends and family to, to enjoy. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video.